I work hard to earn my pay And I saved real big today At All American Ford Hey everyone, it's Jason Savino The Marketing Director for the All American Auto Group And this is Episode 3 Of the All American Auto Mall and Old Bridge Updates Podcast So thanks for joining um, I'll recap Episode 2 quickly And then we have our first guest of this podcast Jim Raffone from Jar of Hope Is going to join us um, and then I'll go over some other stuff that's going to happen towards the end of the month and into October. Um, I will also recap my NFL picks that I made last week, if you remember, and um, tied them back into uh, Ford vehicles. Um, so it's going to be a great episode. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. So on last week's episode, which was episode two of this podcast, I talked a lot about back to school and our service center and the increased convenience level of our complimentary pickup and delivery. So whether you are doing back to school where your children are actually going back to a physical location, or if you're doing back to school where it's homeschooling or some type of virtual remote learning, um, our complimentary pickup and delivery and service is the most convenient thing you could do right now. And uh, we really urge all customers to take advantage of it. A lot of them have been so far this month. Um, so that's been great to see. So now we will um, welcome in Jim Raffone from Jar of Hope onto this podcast as our first guest. Okay, so I'm here with Jim Raffone, the CEO and founder of Jar of Hope. Jim, welcome to the show. Glad to have you on here. Jay, thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Um, had to have Jim on. You know, I've been talking about the last couple of episodes where we're doing a lot with Jar of Hope right now. Um, the Mustang giveaway and then the DC to NJ run. So, um, Jim, I know with the Mustang giveaway, you came into our showroom one day. You saw the green Mustang. Um, you know, you said we have to do something with this. And I think what happened is right away, the Savino family kind of said, all right, let's try and raffle it off. Let's try and donate it. How can we raise as much money as possible? Um, but do you want to talk a little bit about the significance of the color green and, you know, kind of how we got to this point with that beautiful green Mustang on our showroom? Sure. Uh, it happened to be one day I brought in a good friend of mine, Matt LeBeau, to come in and he needed to get a car serviced and he was looking to get a, an additional car. And lo and behold, behind the reception desk, it's a lime green blacked out Mustang convertible. And the both of us looked at each other and it was kind of like a, uh, you know, uh, starstruck moment. Like it's meant to be, it's kismet for me to walk in the showroom that morning and see that lime green Mustang there. And, and the reason why the, the lime green Mustang is so, so meaningful is because it's actually the color of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, like pink is for breast cancer this lime green color is for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And it's not something that you see often, especially with the blackout package, which is the colors of Jar of Hope, lime green and black. So we looked at each other right away and Matt goes, bro, you got to raffle that off. And then it was uh, moments later where I spoke with uh, yourself and, and Chris, and uh, we spoke about what are the, what is the possibilities of raffling off that Mustang to raise money because we're trying to find a cure for this deadly disease. And at the time it was costing us $35,000 a month. And right now we're about to file an IND with the FDA and it's gonna cost us probably a little bit more than $2.5 million we need to raise. And uh, I, I don't think it took more than a short conversation with you and your brother yep. to uh, say you guys were all in. So. Yep, absolutely. That's fantastic. And yeah, we are trying to, you know, hoping that you raise about 100k from it, limiting the number of tickets to 1000. It's going to be $100 per donation ticket. And um, you could find those donation tickets at jarofhopemustang.com. And for those who, who are listening today, if you go out and purchase a ticket, I had a donor last night, we were talking about this, and he said he wanted to up the ante. So right now, he said, if anybody buys an additional ticket to the raffle, you'll find $1,000 in the glove compartment, $1,000 cash, which would help with gas, insurance, tax, title, whatever. So there's an additional $1,000 right now in the glove box. That's fantastic. Great. Thanks, Jim. Okay, so the Mustang giveaway is great. We look forward to that. That's ending November 23rd. 
But in October, you have this incredible record-breaking event going on. Um, so talk about the DC to Old Bridge event. So the fact that the Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a muscle-wasting disease, Jar of Hope is always trying to do something for people to ask why. Why are you doing that? In the past, we've run 171 miles in the desert, but this year, the race was canceled. So unfortunately, Duchenne muscular dystrophy did not take the time off. Children are still wasting away. Children are still unfortunately dying. This past weekend, a child, 11 years old, changed his age, just passed from cardiac arrest due to Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So this is not something that where we can just take a, a back seat to this and, and, and wait for things to happen. So Jar Hope is being proactive. And since all the races were canceled, we said we have to do something on our own. And what are we going to do? What, what is going to raise eyebrows? So initially, we were going to walk from my house to Washington, D.C., just for people to understand the desperation, to continue to see my desperation save my son's life. Then it was brought to my attention, and the odds of this happening is just insurmountable, that another child in Manalapan, New Jersey, a seven-year-old boy, was diagnosed with Duchenne as well. So... In, in true jar of hope fashion, this is not just about James. This is about all the children who are suffering from this muscle-wasting disease. So what we thought is we should spin this. We should start in D.C. because that's where the lawmakers are. That's where the people who can help push money from the federal government to the NIH. Right. So if we go down there, which we're going to, we're going to start on the steps of the Rayburn Building, October 12th, Columbus Day. And we're gonna walk 260 miles north to Old Bridge, New Jersey. And the last checkpoint is gonna be All American Ford to raise awareness for this other family who has a child stricken with this disease. Because everybody needs to fully understand the magnitude of this disease. This disease will not stop. There is no way to stop this disease or save a child's life at this moment. So we have to up the ante and we really need to raise awareness in our town for people to understand it could happen to your child at any given time. That's great. And so 260 miles from DC to Old Bridge, New Jersey. So how many miles is that a day? About? We need to do approximately 35 miles a day. And that's crazy because I'm not that great at math, but that is more than a marathon a day. And um, let's talk a little bit about the involvement that uh, we helped with uh, from an all-American Ford standpoint um, and some Ford dealerships. So basically, so the audience knows, um, it's very difficult to get kind of a collaboration between Ford dealerships. Um, it's pretty funny, we're all friendly, it's probably like any business, right? It's a friendly competition, but you all have your own charities and stuff like that. So it's hard to get a, a big collaboration uh, going and and we managed to obviously with the help of Jim and Jar of Hope and and their motivation factor and then All American Ford standing within Ford and, and the region even and we got a bunch of Ford dealerships and we'll talk more about it on uh, upcoming episodes but they're going to be involved and um, you know Jim has already visited with some of them he's got some great plans for it so why don't you discuss that a little bit Jim yeah it's you guys were instrumental in helping us put this together because initially it just started out to be a 260 mile walk but then slowly but surely this matured into uh, a, a a magnificent awareness journey where we're going to start from washington and then the moment we get into baltimore we're going to hit a ford dealership and then we're going to hit one approximately every 30 miles uh, on some occasions there's going to be two a day now, Bob Davis and Ford has been instrumental as well in helping us. Uh, Bruce Schindler there has been amazing. He's already had me sit down with his team to explain what this disease is all about and why they should get involved. And they did not hesitate as well. So all these Ford dealerships we're going to be visiting, there's going to be six others along the route, along with all American Ford. And it, what's going to happen is each of their employees are going to walk with us approximately the last mile because kids with Duchenne muscular dystrophy will not be able to do so. So the employees of these Ford dealerships are going to walk that last mile because it's very symbolic for the children with Duchenne muscular dystrophy who will never be able to walk that mile. So together, we're trying to raise awareness in each and every city as we make our way to Old Bridge, New Jersey. 
So I can't thank you guys enough for one, sponsoring us as the event sponsor, and two, by reaching out to other Ford's dealerships to get them behind this. And, and they really have. It's just beautiful. Yeah, we're so excited about it. I mean, the whole built Ford tough thing, I think, you know, is very symbolic of, of you and Jar of Hope and everything you do with these races. So I think there's a lot of connective tissue involved with all of it and, and just fantastic collaboration. So it's going to be a great event. Um, and we're going to end here as, as the last checkpoint here at All American Ford on October 19th. And then you're going to head over and we'll head over with a bunch of employees to um, Old Bridge High School in Lombardi Field and have a little celebration for the record-breaking uh, finish line, I guess, right? That would be awesome. And for those of you who are listening, uh, Jar of Hope and the team, we will be uh, sleeping, camping out at Sportica on this Sunday, October 18th. We're going to head out that Monday morning and we're going to go from Sportica East to Route 9 and then we're going to make a left and come up Route 9 to All American Ford. So everybody who's in an earshot of this, you can meet us at Sportica that morning, you can meet us at Route 9. If you want to do the last 5K uh, from All American Ford to Lombardi Field in Old Bridge, New Jersey, you are more than welcome to come out and be a part of this record-breaking historic moment for children with Duchenne Muscular District. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And you can find more information about it at jarofhope.org. Um, there's a page that you can get to from the homepage, and then you could also find the donation and sponsorship page and also the Facebook group for live updates. I know I like checking that Facebook group every day. I see you training, you're, you're tossing tires around, you're pulling tires. You and, and your crew are doing so many crazy things right now with that. Yeah, it's, re it's really awesome. And, and one thing that's really nice to see is the team is growing. Initially, this started out with myself and Joe Apolito, uh, who's a, a longtime friend of ours. And uh, now it's blossomed to we got a team of 12 who are going to walk the entire 260 miles. We have another team that came to me and presented an idea. They wanted to do a Ragnar, which there's a six of them are going to run from Friday the 16th to Monday. And uh, they're not going to stop. It's going to be 24 hours of running between the six of them. However they break it up is up to them. But however you'd like to get involved, please reach out to Jim at jargroup.org uh, or stop by here at All American Ford. And while you're here, check out their vehicles. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> I love it. Thanks so much for joining, Jim. And uh, we'll hear a lot more from you. And I'll talk about it a lot more on upcoming episodes. Thanks so much, Jim. My pleasure. Okay, so that was some great stuff from Jim Rafon from Jar of Hope. Um, always happy to speak with him and definitely we'll have him on the podcast more, especially with some of those exciting events coming up. Um, one other thing I want to switch gears to our sister store here in Old Bridge when I'm talking from an All-American Ford perspective. Our sister store here is All-American Subaru in Old Bridge. So um, Subaru Loves Pets Month is in October, so that's coming up obviously. And every single year we have a large pet adoption day here in our Old Bridge location. And in past years, it's just been fantastic. Um, last year, there was a lot of cool things that happened. Um, Bill Spadia from NJ1015 came. Um, you know, Jerry Ferrara, our, our good friend, has been here in the past for these events. And there's always a lot of animals get, that get adopted. We invite pet vendors. Um, and just some other vendors and local businesses and partners that we have here to display some of their stuff. Usually draws a really large crowd. Um, last year we had a fire truck uh, video game set up and a fire truck that also had uh, ice cream in it as well. So it was great for families as well. Um, unfortunately, this year, as everybody knows, a little bit different, um, you know, 2020 and, and COVID and everything. Um, so we're not going to be able to have our physical event here. So we thought about our partner, um, our, our animal uh, adoption partner, which is Sammy's Hope in Sayreville. And we wanted to help them out. You know, this year has been rough for a lot of people and a lot of businesses, but, you know, these adoption centers as well need to be thought about because obviously the adoption slowed down a little bit. Um, they couldn't have volunteers come to the locations for a while. Um, they had to find foster homes for a lot of the animals. So um, we wanted to find a way to help them out because of Subaru Loves Pets Month um, and figure out a way to still up their exposure and get their animals 
that are up for adoption some exposure and, and out there more. So we're going to do a pet video series uh, with them. And it's going to air every single Thursday in October, except for uh, October 1st. So it's going to start October 8th and there's going to be four episodes and it's going to play on our all American Subaru and old bridge YouTube page. But you know, I'll also be posting it on Facebook, um, on our website. It's going to be on um, the NJ 1015 site and information about it and everything. So it's going to be a really, really cool video series. I really hope everybody, um, you know, marks it on your calendar, get excited about it, get involved with it. Um, we're going to be trying to have watch parties on Facebook uh, with it on Thursday when we launch it. Um, I'll try and be on there to answer some questions and comment on stuff. So um, I'm really excited for that. Like I said, Sammy's Hope is excited. They've started to um, send us some videos um, and we're starting to kind of put together um, what it'll look like and be able to insert some videos, you know, into it. So it's ready every Thursday. Um, so if you want more information on that and to keep track of it, definitely follow our All American Subaru and Old Bridge Facebook page. And then the website for it is uh, oldbridgepetevent.com. So that'll take you to our Subaru website and you'll see all the information about it. You know, there's also a uh, NJ 101.5 uh, cutest pet contest that we do every year with them. Um, and last year it was a great success. And so that's part of this video series as well. So check out the website and uh, we're really excited about it. I'll definitely be talking about it on my weekly podcast. Um, so check back on our social pages for uh, more info on it. On last week's episode, I started this thing where I was going to make three NFL picks for the games that started because it was the first week of the season. I compared my confidence level in the picks to the size of vehicles that we have here. So um, the lowest confidence pick I had was for the Ford EcoSport, our small uh, SUV here on the, on the Ford side. Medium level confidence was the Ford Explorer. And then the highest level of confidence was the Shelby F-150. Um, so we had those different tiers of picks. So to recap last week, um, I really thought I was going to go three and out. um, the Shelby F-150 size pick, I did the Kansas city chiefs over the Texans and they won 34 20. So that was an easy one. And listen that, you know, the spread in that one, um, if you're a gambler or pay attention to any of the Vegas odd stuff, um, it was around 10. So, you know, no surprise there for the Ford Explorer size pick. I had the Ravens over the Browns and they crushed them 38-6. Uh, Again, Baltimore was expected to win, so nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary there. And for the Ford Echo Sport, to round out my top three picks, I had the Lions over the Bears. Um, I thought it was a good pick. I liked the Lions a lot in that game. And, you know, they had the tie-in with Ford and, you know, the, their involvement with the Detroit Lions. And they were actually up 23 to six going into the fourth quarter. So I really thought I had it, um, but they got crushed in the fourth quarter with a comeback from the Chicago bears and they lost. So I went two and one. So um, this week I am more confident in my picks, to be honest with you. So let's get into it. So the Shelby F-150 size pick of the week for week two of the NFL season, I'm taking the green Bay Packers over the lions um, I think I'm hurt by what the Lions did last week. So um, I hope they get crushed this week, to be honest with you. So I'm taking them. And then my Ford Explorer pick of the week, I'm going to go with the Rams over the Eagles. It's uh, close to a pick em game. So, um, you know, a toss up in Vegas's eyes. And I just, I don't know. I like the way the Rams played the Cowboys. Um, I don't like the Eagles. I'm a Giants fan. So there's a lot of bias in that pick for both sides because I'm a Giants fan. So we'll see how that turns out. And then the Ford Echo Sport pick of the week, I'm going to go with an upset. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals over the Browns, which is going to be on tonight. So Thursday night football. Um, the Browns are favored by, you know, a few points there. And uh, I don't know. I, I think the Bengals could take them. So that's what I'm going with. And um, I'm going to stay away from the Giants again. I, I like their performance against the Steelers. It wasn't too bad. You know, first game, uh, new coach, a lot of new coordinators. So 
it, it, it's okay that they lost. They played good. So um, I like them this week against the Bears, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Again, their, their early season struggles the last few years um, are kind of frustrating. But um, those are my NFL picks of the week. I hope you enjoyed episode three of this podcast. Uh, we had a lot of good stuff today, especially with having Jim Rafone from Jar of Hope here. And, um, you know, we'll get on with it next week for episode four. So um, thanks for listening. Share this on your social media pages. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you next week. American, all American Ford.